Abnormal activity in Yellowstone National Park has some people thinking the end of the world is near. In the past two months, Steamboat Geyser has erupted four times. This is very unusual for a geyser, which unlike Old Faithful, can go years between eruptions. Some people believe this means the super volcanoes beneath Yellowstone will erupt next. A science project is being conducted in a classroom at the Buffalo Bill Center of the West. Megan Smith, an education specialist, stands in front of a large plastic box filled with flour. The bicycle pump is connected to the box. As Smith began pumping, the flour slowly fell to the side and a red balloon appeared. Suddenly, the balloon burst and there was a large bowl-like dip left in the middle of the flour. Smith and colleague George Miller show how super volcanoes erupted and created the Yellowstone Plateau millions of years ago. When the balloon inflates, it simulates the expansion of the top of the cloud plume, the Yellowstone hot spot, and then when the balloon explodes. That's the eruption, Miller explained. Steamboat Geyser rarely erupts and before this latest surge, it last erupted four years ago on September 14, 2014. And because of this, some people predict that doomsday is near. But Morgan Worthen, a Yellowstone public affairs specialist, said the eruption doesn't mean a supervolcanoes will be next. Standing in front of Steamboat Geyser with Worthen, we watched steam coming out of the vents and hopeful visitors waited to see if they could witness an eruption. Worthen said Yellowstone has the largest concentration of thermal activity in the world with more than 10,000 hydrothermal features. What's normal in Yellowstone is for the geysers to explode, the mud pots to bubble, like you're hearing a bluff bluff, Worthen said, imitating the sound. This earthquake is seismically active so it is quite common for small earthquakes to occur. Yellowstone is unique for its thermal activity. And to understand why Steamboat Geyser's four consecutive eruptions don't mean the volcanoes will erupt anytime soon, we need to go back in time. About two million years ago, we experienced three giant volcanic eruptions. People are calling it a super eruption, said Bob Smith, a distinguished professor of geology and geophysics at the University of Utah, has studied the geology and geophysics of Yellowstone for 61 years. And the third and final eruption, 631,000 years ago, created a caldera or plateau. Smith said hot magma lies deep beneath it. Magma from Yellowstone emerged from about 1,800 miles deep in the earth and rose vertically, Smith said. A small amount of magma passed through the cold part of the North American continent, forming two magma reservoirs. However, this room only contains 7% molten rock. Smith said water that comes from rain, snow, and rivers is heated by heat sources located several miles away. When you heat it up, the Earth has pockets of highly fractured volume that we call hydrothermal reservoirs and these fueled the geysers and the hot springs in Yellowstone. Basically, compare a geyser eruption to a steam boiler. The water becomes hot and the higher temperature and pressure exceeds the available space and expels hot water and steam from the spout. Mike Poland, director of the Yellowstone Volcanoes Observatory said scientists aren't sure what conditions cause the geyser to erupt more frequently than others. But Old Faithful appears to have a more stable plumbing system. When things stabilize then you might expect some more predictable or more regular behavior, but one thing is for sure, just because Steamboat has erupted four times in the last two months doesn't mean a supervolcanoes will be next. 
These erratic geyser eruptions are caused more by surface changes of several hundred meters and changes in water flux, Poland said. Poland said people were happy that the steamboat geyser was erupting more frequently because of the element of surprise. Even as I sit here, I wonder if this will ever go away. I think people have this feeling. You might stand here and experience the highest geyser eruption in the world, something most people would like to see without all of Yellowstone blowing up because of it.